Hey Vibes fam, welcome back to my channel where good food and good vibes is a must. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making some rice and peas and here are my ingredients that I'll be using. Well, some of it. My peas has been soaking from overnight and we're still going to use the same water to cook the peas. So now I'm adding about two cups of water, two additional cups of water and i'm also going to add about five or six cloves of garlic some pimento seed and cover that and bring and allow it to cook it <laughs> to cook until it's soft and there is the rest of my ingredients vibes fam so now that the peas is cooked right and just by looking at it you know that it, it's it's cooked you see those ones all them bust up and break up yes you know it cooked but let's test it and there you go right and remember cooking still going to be taking place so here i'm adding 400 mils of coconut milk because you need that for your rice and peas and i chopped up the the scallion and i added one and a half tablespoons of ginger and some thyme and salt to taste and you're going to stir that up and i would advise you to taste it a little bit but maybe you can you can ditch that right you're going to cover this and bring it to a boil and then you can taste it that time if you wish but look at my coconut milk come through coconut milk hey mr garlic garlic take up the the, the color the we call it <laughs> the peas But yeah, vibes, um, this is it. After you cover it and bring it to a boil, now you need to taste it to see what it needs. If it needs some more salt, then you add some more salt. So here's my rice. As usual, I'm using basmati rice. Wash it until the color runs clear. And then now I add it to my rice. So I'm using a total of about three or maybe four cups of water. So add that, stir it in, and then cover it and allow it to dry down and here it is vibes fam all dried down so you have it on like medium flames are preferably low medium medium is good right because that way you know it yeah it will boil down faster but watch it do not burn your rice so now i'm going to take out these little skinny pieces of thyme and then i'm gonna stir it up and show you so it's not done right we're going to stir it up and to bring what is at the bottom to the top what's at the top to the bottom right <laughs> we're just gonna stir it up because we need to evenly distribute the rice everywhere to get them evenly cooking okay evenly distributed cooking right <laughs> so yeah vibes up just just mix it up mix it up give it a nice mix look for niceness already come through nice body rice yes so yeah vibes <laughs> vibes up this is looking so good so give it a stir and then what we're going to do we're going to cover it for an additional about five minutes or so so that all depends on how your rice is so if at this point your rice grain still tough do not add any more water just put maybe like a file piece of file paper over the rice and then cover it back right but here it is vibes fam all done oh yeah oh yeah steamy steamy rice look nice rice look nice and this is what i love about basmati rice too you can have it extremely shelly and you can have it where it's looking nice and moist you know you can have it just in the middle and this is like in the middle of shelly and moist and i love it <laughs> so yeah vibes um this is it this is it and guess what the ginger is optional but if you've never tried ginger in your rice and peas try it and chopping up the the green onion or the thyme that is optional too you don't have to chop it up but i didn't want to have to take them out and as you can see they are not really showing and you can't eat them and they don't bother you right so yeah vibes sam that is it and i'm just gonna fix them back like i never stirred apart <laughs> but yeah vibes sam thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and run on over on instagram and follow me thank you god bless you